So today, I thought I'd show you guys not something that I've worked on. Um, I intended to work on this. I didn't actually end up having time to because the end of senior year sort of got in the way. Um, but this is another survival games map that uh, BXP did. Namely, I want to say like BD and, and, and Ben, I think, and like BCX worked on this. Uh, but it, we had actually two new members actually who came through and, and did a lot. Um, and so there, uh, Wings Not, and you know, there, there are multiple people who all put in their effort to this project. And I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, it, it's not something that was on as large of a scale as the other maps that we've done. This one was meant to be a little bit smaller, um, and BD, um, you know, started doing some trees and things like that, which I think he's getting very, very good at. Um, and, you know, things overall are looking very, very nice. I don't know what kind of theme this is. It's like, uh, I, I can picture it, you know, it's like those old timey, uh, you know, it's like medieval. I guess it is medieval in a way, but a little, little, uh, not, oh, you can't go in there. Well, cheesy. <laughs> I look dumb. Um, not so medieval-esque at the same time. Um, but yeah, if you come through, I don't know that, uh, I don't know that this is totally done. I think that some, a lot of interiors are going to be added. So right now, while you can't go into every single house, at some point you will be able to. Um, but in the meantime, you can look at them. They're actually, even though they do look similar, they're all completely different. It's easy to see if you fly overhead. They're all very, very different shapes. And they all look very cool. Um, I think BD was the first one who who came up with this little, you know, kitsy kind of style thing, which actually is great because it uses the 1.8 blocks, which is something that I haven't done a whole lot of yet. Um, but something that I do intend to do, actually, I, I just finished a commission build in which I was using some 1.8 uh, some 1.8 blocks. And I, I will show you guys that at some point. Um, if we come through here, I always thought this was really cute, this little kind of cove thing, and you can jump through that so it doesn't slow you down. But I want to go out this way and around. You see we have some... We were going to do uh, custom trees over here, but they ended up being a little bit too big. So we decided to go with a little bit of a modified version of uh, your default trees. You have a cute little campsite as you come through here. We wanted to keep things very open. You know, we want, we wanted the town in the center. I should say they wanted the town in the center. And then uh, other than that, things were supposed to be very open so that people could just run about um, and do what they needed to do. Interiors, not quite complete. As you can see, this is a really big house really really big i mean this must be what three floors ridiculous you could probably fit an attic in there as well really really big house um and then some stables were made over here you can see they actually have horses in them which is very very cute <laughs> oh. um and i think some people did some windmill stuff over here which i like at the same time usually i do um just fields without this is kind of patchy 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 wheat which i kind of like i like it there's a lot of really cool designs you can do with wheat one guy um on one PMC map, did uh, like a dragon shape. He didn't. He used like some program like Vobblox or something like that. I don't remember what it's called, but um, it it made a really really nice effect. This is the only thing I can really take credit for. I started this house, and I got so busy that I didn't actually finish it. So somebody stepped in and they finished it for me very very kindly. I should say no interior, but it's cute. You know, I like it. I think it would make a good house. I should probably well, I'll put that back there. Um. Yeah, it's just a really, really tiny, nice little map. They do have some little secret areas like this you can go in. Um, to be honest, I haven't explored this a ton myself, so there's maybe things that I'm missing that you guys could go and find if you uh, if you ever get this on your server. Very, very cool in there. And if we go, uh, I think it'll see it's back into the town. There are a lot of houses over here. Oh, no, this isn't even. This is another part. I really like uh, this tree. I think all these uh, these trees are all nice. These are all, but this is a really good good tree. I really like this. I haven't done anything like this before. This is totally BD's idea, where he's taken the trunk and had one canopy that he's dressed, and then it's gone up further. And um, there's another one. I've done that in the God tree that I did, um, but never in a tree that's like a medium size. So I thought that was a really really cool idea. And we keep a little tower here, and we come up, and we're back where we were. So yeah, tiny map, very simple, pretty much done. Um, I am intending, because uh, you know more people are getting out and out of school, so I'll be doing videos more often. But not only that, um, I'm going to expand to do some you know mods and things like that that I've found that are really cool. And I think my coolest idea is I'm I'm going to do something similar to. Um, I think Corrales probably started it with his inspiration series, and then Vadict and you know there are other YouTubers who who go around and look at builds on their servers. 
well, I don't really have a server that people play on. You know, I'm not, I, I don't have those resources. But um, there are, I know, I do know a lot of good creative servers. So I'm thinking I'll go around to multiple servers and find really cool builds to show everyone. And um, I'm thinking of hopefully doing that with another person that I have in mind. So that would be exciting. That would be great. That'll be cool. Um, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I know I, uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot recently, but now that senior year is over, things should steadily uh, come out as often as they used to, and even more often than they used to. So that's good news. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.